Hey guys, what's up? It's Lucy. Today, we are filming a Q&A. <laughs> this is Camille. I am Camille. I've never been in a vlog before, but, you know. It's not shocking. I'm so excited. We've been friends since sixth grade, so she's she's an OG fan. Yeah. Maybe. So, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, do I have OG fans? I'm like, maybe, maybe not, actually. Okay. <laughs> So I posted a picture and I asked people for questions, but like only like three people <laughs> gave me questions. That's it's fine funny. though. It's just fine. It's totally fine. I'm like crying. I'm like, it's fine guys. Okay. First question from Julia Altimore. How do you learn not to care what others think? So like, I, I wouldn't say I've completely succeeded on this front, right? No, but you've no. like... I've come you, pretty far. You have come so far. So far, yeah. So I used so to care <laughs> so much what everyone else thought of me. Like, yeah. I like, just always conform. And I feel like you just have to become comfortable with yourself first. I kind of just decided in middle school that I just didn't give a shit about what anyone thought. That's, yeah. I really, I really like, made that decision. Because, like, if you think about it, like... That doesn't affect you. That's true. And it's also just like... I feel like we've had a lot of conversations about this. So true. Yeah. yeah. It's just like... Why did... Like, what does... Do other people's opinions on what you're doing bring to you? Nothing. Yeah. Like, literally nothing. Really nothing. If you spend your whole life just like conforming and thinking about what other people think of you, you're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to grow. It's like... You kind of have to... It's a waste of energy. It's such a waste of energy. And you're going to not end up happy because you're not going to be doing things that bring you the most joy. Like, if I cared what people thought about this YouTube channel, I wouldn't have made it. Yeah. You know? Like, I get so much shit for this, but, like, it makes me happy. So I'm like, <laughs> do I really care? And at the end of the day, it's like, their insecurity... I mean, their hate towards you or their, them judging you is stemming from their own insecurities. And I know that's hard to see sometimes, so true. but it's, it's so true. It's so true. So, I don't know. It's, it's a long journey though. It's not something, it, it, like, like Camille said, sometimes it is just that conscious decision and then you just like, it habitually becomes part of your life. Yeah. But you have to be comfortable with yourself first and then, yeah. you know, it kind of comes. Yeah. But it's definitely challenging. How do you learn to love yourself? So, honestly, this was so hard for me. And I have a whole video on this, but like, it is just learning to love the little things about you that like make you different. And just like accepting that you have a purpose and like you were put on this world for a reason and just like figuring out that reason and loving yourself for it is just like something you have to do, yeah. right? Yeah. How did you... I mean, I mean, I don't know, I just feel like kind of, yeah, what you said, like the little things. The little just things. Just like, also just like, I think a big part of it is just like how other people like respond to you <laughs> and like taking like your impact on other people and being like, wow, like... It's like, it like feels good when like you make other people feel good and like you can mm -hmm. kind of take that and be like, well, I must not be a terrible person. I yeah, guess. exactly. <laughs> no, literally. And it's very interesting because I know a lot of people that don't love themselves and they make that very, um, make it very clear. And it's just, it's really unattractive and I know that's not something they can like yeah. change easily, but like loving yourself is such a beautiful thing. So I think doing everything you can to try to achieve that and just like putting in so much energy into that is something that's so worth it. That's and it. like it'll affect you in all different parts of your life. You know, you become more confident in the decisions you make because you love yourself and you be because you have that like basic line of um, just like self-awareness, I guess. I just think it makes things more fun. Oh, totally. <laughs> it makes Jeez. life so much more fun. So much more fun. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. To clarify, we're not conceited. We're just... <laughs> no, no, but truthfully. <laughs> like, if we're talking like, about conceited. <laughs> the other day, I was literally, I told, I told Tab that I was like, I sometimes it's concerning how much I love myself. <laughs> like I was like, I think I'm borderline narcissistic sometimes. Uh, truthfully, oh my God. because I just no, think, yeah, right. and I'm just like, 
yeah. I'm awesome. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> it's not that I think I'm better than anyone else. It's just like me individually. <laughs> I'm just the best. Right. And I'm like, people, I'm like, yeah, like if like, love me. <laughs> no. But like, if, if like, if someone doesn't like me or like a guy doesn't like me or something, I don't think of that as like, I'm like, what you're lost. Did, no, seriously. <laughs> I'm like, he missed out. Let me tell you. Like, that's just the way you have to think about it. And like, I don't know, just being comfortable with yourself. It just yeah. like, it comes. Yeah. So I don't know. What are my favorite hobbies? Um, I love listening to music, photography, making YouTube videos. Um, I love journaling, listening to podcasts. Really? Yeah, love listening to podcasts. I learn a lot I from them. That. Yeah, no, absolutely. They're really cool. I think they they have this different effect on you that like YouTube videos or like blog posts don't have. Just yeah. like listening to someone else's voice is like very calming sometimes, and it just. I don't know. I feel like that's an easy way to like learn things. Oh, so easy. Yeah, I, I take notes actually. Ugh. I have my moleskin here. Oh my god, I literally do the exact same thing. Really? Yeah, that's so funny. Wait, I'm gonna <laughs> Wait, get one yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so this is from like one of the podcasts I read on the Messy Heads. And then... Wait, that's so funny. And then... What's this song? This is about, I was watching YouTube videos about studying techniques, and um, I watched a podcast on sleep, so that was really cool. And then this was all about millennials, so I wrote all these notes on that. And I love it because I now go to my, like, journal, and yeah, I have, like, my to-do lists in here. Like, this is, um, you know, for school, like, when I write all my to-do lists. And then I'll write like longer to-do lists like, oh, in the next month that like aren't essential, but like I have to get them done at some point, but just like not at the moment. And it's really nice. And like sometimes I put like Polaroids in here and like, I don't care what it looks like, which is nice. Leticia asked me, um, what would you change about your school slash what don't you like about school? I mean, there are definitely, like, I wish in a lot of my classes I had, like, more creative freedom with a lot of things, like, more projects and stuff, just because I'm very creative and, like, tests don't always, like, show my knowledge. Just, like, that aspect of school, but besides that, I don't know, I love the high school. I, I've learned to like it a lot more. Yeah, I remember, I remember in the beginning of freshman year-ish, Camille and I hated where hated, we lived hated. and hated the high school. <laughs> like, I, like, hated it. Yeah. Like, we were, well, you were Especially more. Especially last year. Camille was, like, looking at boarding schools. Yeah. And How did you learn to like it? Honestly, like, I learned to like it because I, like, found a community of people who, like, made it more fun and I like like I just felt like in the beginning it was just like this is literally all so fake like all these people are just like so shitty and like like stuck up yeah, yeah stuck up and like only care about social status and then I like found a group of people who like really didn't care about any of that at all and it was so nice and like literally like yeah I, I don't know, I like found like a family kind of and That's so nice. it like made it so much more worth it and like also for me like in freshman year like I didn't have a good group of friends. Like freshman year, I was kind of breaking away from like the popular group, I guess, right? Like, yeah. And I, I had never really been popular, but like in eighth grade, I kind of started becoming friends with those people and it was like so fun and stuff. And then I was like, these aren't my people. I just had different priorities. Yeah. And it was hard because those didn't match theirs. And so I was like, just kind of making small talk and not having genuine friendships, and that's something that like that's, completely that changed. was a big part. Yeah, of it. you know, and that completely changed um, towards the end of freshman year and like sophomore year, and now I have like such amazing friends. Also, like I feel like another part about like why I started to like like the high school more, especially this year, is because honestly this year like groups like don't really matter oh like, my I feel god like, so no. like everyone this year like literally just became friends with whoever they wanted to be friends so with true. and it's like you can have a group but you also have so many other friends outside of groups and it literally doesn't matter yeah that's also like on another thing like parties and stuff like i don't go to parties to like drink and like like blow off steam yeah, 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 i literally yeah. go to parties so i can hang out with people that like aren't yeah. in my immediate friend group yeah, yeah, yeah. like 
the I feel like the friendships you form with people at parties like just That's are so, so fun. yeah they're so fun and like like there's so many people that I've solely become friends with because I like saw them at a party and we like bonded and I don't know if it's because people are more comfortable at parties but like you know yeah. a lot of people won't go up and talk to people they don't know like in school but at a party it like does not matter it literally doesn't you matter. know what do you want to do with your life the question of the year. Um, my dream job has always been to be a National Geographic photojournalist. I feel like it always will be. But just doing something that like allows me to pursue my like my art and my creative my creative side um, is like just something I've always wanted to do. And then probably going to college in California, just being there. And I want to take a gap year. Um, you think you're still going to do that? I really want to. Yeah. I, I guess it depends on like school and stuff and like yeah. where I get in and like mm -hmm. how I'm feeling at that point. But I'm really young for my grade. So I, I just really want to take a gap year and like live in New Zealand because I have a, like a lot of family there and like work there and travel around there and then like go to England and like see my family and stuff because I don't get to see them like ever because I'm like my immediate family is our the only family that I have that lives in America which is like awesome but it also sucks sometimes because like Thanksgiving and stuff is kind of boring <laughs> because we don't have family <laughs> but um yeah, I don't know. Honestly, like, my main goal in life is to just, like, be happy. Yeah. And, like, so I don't know. Just, like, anything that helps me follow that path. Yeah. What about you? Honestly, like, <laughs> I have no idea. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like, there's always kind of, like, the ultimate goal to obviously be happy and then, like, travel. Yeah. Travel is, like, which, travels has always yeah. been, like, Camille and I is like yeah. just like number one thing. Yeah, absolutely. Right. But I know life gets in the way. True. So I don't know. I don't know what will happen. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Camille and I have always like our goal has been to just like road trip around yeah. like any continent. Literally. Like literally. Even America. Like just like anywhere. You uh -huh. know, just like Especially like this is weird, but like when Visco kind of became a thing. Oh my god! In eighth, in eighth grade, you for sure you had Camille had it on her iPad when like Visco was first like Visco, a thing. Yeah. Camille was like, "This is the coolest thing ever," and we thought we were so we cool, we were so cool because no one else had it. No one and else had it. Oh my god, we totally started it. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> but like, you could like see the feed. Yeah. And it was like all of these photos of all these amazing places, and it was like so like intriguing yeah and it was like it was just so artistic yeah. and Camille and I were so drawn to it oh, and absolutely. like from that point we had always been like just following all these like super cool like travel yeah, photos yeah. on Instagram you know what I mean and just like yeah. I don't know like going around the city and stuff and like taking pictures and like journaling more and uh -huh. just like I don't know that's I feel like that's always been like our thing yeah and it's been like I don't know it's like cool Nina said, how often do you use ketchup? <laughs> I hate ketchup. <laughs> Is climate change real? Okay. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just like, okay. I'm just like, wait. Audrey asked, how do you deal with the haters? I don't. I cry every day. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Someone dislikes my video and I'm like, guys, I need you to come over. She has tears in her eyes right now. Wait, <laughs> I'm like, Camille, the camera's too far away and I can't see. <laughs> um, the haters. The haters. I used to be, like, so, if I honestly, like, straight up, I, like, am affected by it. Oh, no. Like, like, anyone would be. I would be concerned if you weren't. Um, okay. Thank you guys for watching. Um, um yeah, just, you know. Just hit that just like, like smash, smash that, that like button. <laughs> just like leave a comment on what. Um, just if you have any more questions, if you um, call my secretary. Call well, my call my people. Call me. Good. <laughs> I'm like, it's me. I'll, it's have my, I'll have my people call your people. Yep, and then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this is awkward. I'm like, I'm like hey, bye, Camille. Bye. <laughs> This is coffee. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, we're like drinking beer all like. <laughs> I'm like, actually, this is vodka and this is Spedka. And <laughs> Spedka. <juice>, actually. <laughs> If anyone was wondering, we're pre-gaming right now. This is Fireball. <laughs> this is Everclear. Mm -hmm. Wait, what is that stuff? Ever Everclear? This is Everclear. I make moonshine on the side. I make moonshine. 